In the previous program of multiple files, we have learnt how to create two files in a program. But in that program, files were being read one after the other. What if I want to read those files simultaneously? In the previous program, we had created two files employee and designation, where contents of employee will be uh, were shown first and after that contents of designation were shown. What if I want to show their content simultaneously? For example, the name of employee will be displayed and then his designation should be displayed. The name of second employee should be displayed and the name of uh, and the de designation of second employee should be displayed and similarly for the third one. So, in this program we will learn how to do that, how to read two files simultaneously. First of all, we have included IO stream and F stream. Now, we had created a string line n and its maximum size is 80 characters. Now, we have created two objects of if stream class because we have assumed that th those files have been already created employee and designation, we are just going to read them. Therefore, we are going to create objects of only if stream class fin1 and fin2, where fin1 read the contents of employee file and fin2 will read the contents of designation file. And now, we will write a for loop which will run from 0 to 11. This is basically just an assumption if there are 11 contents in the file or 11 lines in the file. You can uh, run it up to 3 lines also because there were 3 lines in those files John, Smith and Harry and their respective uh, designations project manager, marketing manager and sales manager. There were 3 3 lines in both the files but we have run the loop up to 10, but it will be terminated as, as soon as the all the contents of the file will be exhausted. And in order to check whether the end of file has been reached, we will use this function EUF. EUF means end of file. So, this function basically checks whether the end of file has been reached or not. So, this will be used with the object name fin1.eof is not equal to 0. It will be 1 only when the file will reach to the end of it, otherwise it will be 0. So, this condition is false initially, until the contents of the file are exhausted, it will be false. Basically, when it will be true, then this program will be exited. That means, all the contents of the file have been read. So, it will be 0 by default and it will become 1 only when end of file will be reached. Okay? Now, fin1.getLine will be used for reading the contents of the file as we have done in the previous program also. fin1.getLine, line comma n. So, it will read the con first line of employee file, all right, which is John and then it will display it. And now, we are going to display its designation. So, for that we will use fin2.eof is not equal to 0. Initially, designation file is not reached at its end. So, this condition will be false. So, this will not work and it will read the first line of designation file fin 2 dot get line line comma n fin 2 dot get line it will read the first line that is project manager and it will also display it on the screen that is project manager all right and then loop will go up it will automatically be augmented and read the next content of the file this is still false this condition is still false, it will not run, it will read the next line fin 1 dot get line line comma n that is Smith will be read from the file and then fin 2 dot eof is not equal to 0. Now, this is also false, now fin 2 dot get line line comma n that means this line will be read also which is marketing manager. So, we are seeing that first name is read from first file and then first designation is read from the second file, then second name, second designation, third name, third designation. So, in this way all the three values will be read from both the files and at the end this EUF will become 1 that means it will become true because end of file has been reached 
1 is not equal to 0. So, this is true. So, the program will be exited. Exit from employee message will be displayed on the output screen. So, in this way we can read the contents of the file simultaneously. Let me show you the output then program will be more clear to you. All right, you can see here first John is displayed and then his designation project manager is displayed. Then Smith is displayed, then marketing manager is displayed and then Harry is displayed, then sales manager is displayed. And after that exit from employee file message is displayed that we that means all the contents of employee file are exhausted and program is exited all right so in this way we can read the contents of two files simultaneously i hope you understood the concept thank you